The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh-tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today, use promo code WATER, and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Or call 1-888-253-3139. I'm David Hall, founder of Diamond Gusset, where we are proud of our 100% grown and sewn American-made jeans. Whether you're out for dinner, working on the farm, or on the road, Diamond Gusset Jeans offers a full spectrum of style and sizes for any occasion. Our loyal customers enable us to continue sponsoring Liberty Media Outlets. Use promo code FREEDOM to receive a 15% discount at gusset.com. In Liberty, David Hall, Diamond Gusset Jean Company. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. InfoWarsStore.com from this Monday to next. All of the incredible books, videos, supplements, liberty-based attire, belt buckles, Molon Labe t-shirts, organic seeds, you name it, are 10% off the already extremely low prices. We are doing this special to draw attention to the brainwashing that's taking place in the media and in the public schools and in many of the private schools and the, quote, higher levels of education. InfoWars.com is right at the tip of the spear worldwide. That's why it's essential to take advantage of this 10% off across the board special at InfoWarsStore.com. Whether it's the Made in America apparel or the Produced in America high quality supplements, it's all 10% off the already lowest price in this back to school week. History is taking place right now by going to InfoWarsStore.com. You are literally buying war bonds in the battle to awaken humanity. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. In search of the truth in these uncertain, volatile times, I am your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting worldwide on this Friday edition. Don't forget, we'll be back live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, with the abbreviated Sunday Global Transmission. We're here Monday through Friday. 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, and then back Sundays, 5 to 7 Eastern or 4 to 6 Central, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I've been monitoring MSNBC and CNN during the breaks, and it's just, you know, we need the feds to federalize everything. They are the saviors. They will save us. Obama will save us. I mean, I've got CNN and MSNBC on, and at the same time, they've got talking to the crowd saying the same thing with pre-screened folks that they're interviewing. We're just walking up to folks saying, if you promise not to cuss, we'll put you on air and hear what you have to say. <clears throat> then I tune into Fox, and it's Al Sharpton and the cop haters who love thugs that want to burn everything down, uh, don't like the end wraps that keep us safe. The feds gave them the training, and we just put an article up on screen. 
where it shows they were given this federal training. They were given the armored vehicles. They were taught how to aim guns at people. This is what the feds do. And then I just love how they gave them the costumes, the armored vehicles, everything. And then they get to sit there and criticize it. When they got predator drones flying around. So the police are playing right into it as usual. Newsweek, how America's police became an army. The 1033 program. Well, that's just one small part of it. I don't mean to toot my horn, but I am the expert on the militarization of police because I've been obsessed with it since day one. When I found out the police were training with the military for gun confiscation all over the country, look at Katrina. All right, let's go back to uh, the crew there. I want to get Josh Owens, the cameraman's take on what's happened. I want to talk to a few more people, but uh, Joe Biggs is there finishing up with that gentleman. Anything else, Joe, or does that guy have more to say, or is he gone? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, sir, about what's ha been happening out here? Well, in the previous nights, I think it was quite obvious that the, uh, the response was disproportionate and unbelievably provocative. It was, um, I think you can put any group of people on a street and if you bring military stuff and you point it at them, and there's plenty of reports of that, you're going to have a problem because people are upset and it's not a fair fight. And you know what? It wasn't really a fight in the first place. What it was is people in a small community really angry that it appears that one of their 18-year-olds about to start technical school on Monday, maybe not a perfect guy, they're going to reveal as much as they can about him, but that they decided that they were going to make that the story instead of investigating and revealing the name of the police officer, which they finally done, and an incident report, which would perhaps try to explain how he was shot repeatedly, perhaps even after he turned around and put his hands up. That's why the symbol is hands up, because nobody can believe that a professional police officer would continue shooting since that means I give up. Well, there you have it, Alex. Words from Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, ask him um, if, 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 if he thinks the feds are so good. Uh, I mean, is he aware they've given the police the training nationwide and the MRAPs and the rest of it? Explain that to him. Like, are you aware that the, uh, the federal government actually gave the Ferguson Police Department those militarized vehicles, those sniper rifles, those M4s, and the equipment, the body armor, to come do this? Oh, oh, yes, absolutely. It's part of the surplus military program that made these things available. The problem is the these are very, very serious weapons. They tend to be provocative just by the way they look when they roll down a community street. And so there needs to be appropriate training to use these vehicles. And even when the feds decide... So you think it's okay to have that kind of, that kind of uh, weaponry and vehicles moving up and down through towns in America? I don't Even know. with proper training? I do not think that there's much of a place for it at all. I think it happened because there were surplus vehicles available. I don't think the training has probably been proper for the use of them, as judging by the way it went down on Wednesday night. When they backed off and treated people like human beings, everything went much better. But just to make the point, you know, tell them Alex Jones, the host, wants to tell you, because everybody thinks this is just by accident, Army surplus. It's Rand Corporation. It's public in the last 30 years, accelerating the last 20 it is a plan to militarize the police, to have a new market for defense contractors domestically. This is not just them getting surplus gear. The, the, the military bravada, the end of posse commentatus, all of this is being directed as part of a totalitarian takeover. And Alex Jones wants to know, uh, do you know that this is a plan by our government to militarize our police nationwide? Well, I wouldn't go so far as saying that it's anything coordinated. I think actually no, of course a fair amount not. of incompetence. Do you just think it's just random? I think the inability to handle weaponry like this is because, because the feds couldn't be, couldn't be bad. Hands, and then clearly they're still afraid to even say who was calling the shots on um, the bad nights that we had here in St. Louis. They need to say who was calling the shots because the moment the highway patrol took over, reasonable heads prevailed and they said okay we need to back away the military equipment so do i think that the government's involved in a conspiracy no not particularly oh, really? but this was incompetent you, at the very least do you like to get groped by the tsa when you go to the airport uh, i don't know i perhaps there are necessary evils in the world um but 
I don't know. What happened here was avoidable. Ask him if he thinks the state should be bigger. If they hadn't decided they were going to trickle out a tiny bit of information, and that information was primarily going to be about how, well, the guy wasn't really such a great guy. Ask him what his favorite okay. TV network is, T TV news. The What's your favorite TV news network you watch? I just watch the news. <laughs> I don't give that much thought. Really. Tell him if he likes so Mr. Maddow. Like MSNBC, uh, CBS, CNN, Fox, any of those, which ones do you like? Uh, CNN's not what it used to be. Um, probably NBC, I guess. Do you like Rachel Maddow? Uh, yeah, she's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that would have to do with anything, really. Um, I don't necessarily have a lot of opinions on people on the news. I know that the last day of news was what brought me down here. Because Ask him if, he, if, if, uh, if, if uh, she could be the most handsome man in GQ. Down. Let's not start pointing fingers at people. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know if, uh... If you think that Rachel Maddow could be the most handsome man in GQ. Oh, no comment. No comment. Seems like a nice, nice lady. <laughs> All right. I actually saw her here yesterday. I mean, uh, Chris Hayes. Chris my bad. Hayes, yeah. yeah. I, I confuse them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, she's actually a great actress. She plays both. <laughs> That's the big conspiracy. <laughs> all right, Joe. Hey, uh, let me talk to Josh in just a minute, okay? Okay, we'll do. Thanks. Let me give folks the toll-free number to join us on this issue. Or the Ukrainians blowing up a Russian convoy might be of some concern. And uh, hundreds of U.S. armored vehicles and tanks being deployed against the Russians. That's uh, mainstream news. Just, you know, the 1st Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division will deploy to the Baltic states to the Russian border. That, I think that's kind of important. Toll free number to join us, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Here's some of the headlines up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Ferguson cops say Michael Brown robbed store before he was killed. It looks pretty incriminating. Former cop arrested over anti-TSA protest on public property. Yeah, I can't have a First Amendment. That's, see, that's what's wrong with the police, is they'd follow an order to do that. Secret Service investigates photo of ISIS flag outside White House. SWAT team claims they were helping. That's a quote. <laughs> that's really actually hilarious. Oh, boy. In tear gassing of journalists and attack on Al Jazeera. We were there, folks. This is redonkulous. I, I mean, I, I just, that, that is really rich. St. Louis County Police Chief grilled on his officer's out-of-control actions. That's a Jakari Jackson interview I want to play part of. There's a lot of those articles. Uh, stirring the pot, DOJ sends marshals to coach the protest in Ferguson. That's just some of the news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. You can follow us on Twitter at RealAlexJones. Again, I'm going to shoot some special reports so we have videos for this, this Sunday's radio slash TV show. It's going to be live, too, but we're going to have some special reports. I'm going to really do a, I'm going to put on a feast of information Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. on chemtrails, you name it. So be sure and join us for that. Again, the toll-free number to get involved on air is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We will get you up and on the air here today. And while those calls are coming in, let's go to Josh Owens, the cameraman, to get his take on what he's witnessed overall. Uh, I mean, I love how all these Democrats and MSNBC viewers, I could tell that guy was a Rachel Maddow viewer uh, when he was talking, and he means well. That's a, that's a mainline liberal, has no idea how he's being gamed. Oh, the feds aren't shipping drugs in. The feds aren't, you know, buying armored vehicles. The feds aren't preparing for martial law. We have all the documents. Uh, you know, the feds, you know, didn't do secret testing on black people. They're so naive. They, in fact, we should have asked them. I bet that guy was a state or federal worker. They literally are like one-year-old babies that think of the state as mommy's, mommy's, uh, mommy's milky. I mean, I'm sorry. That's what this comes down to. And they just think that it's a big, giant mammary gland, giant udders in the sky hanging down like Romulus and Remus, you know, suckling from it. Makes me want to throw up to see the gaming of these people. And then meanwhile, you got Fox News doing the right-wing gaming, you know, up there saying, if you don't want armored vehicles and choppers in your neighborhood and NSA checkpoints and cameras 
you know, you're you're with Al Sharpton. I mean, it is just ridiculous. Josh Owens. Uh, Josh.